The growing field of Drosophila olfaction has motivated increasingly sophisticated behavioral assays, such as the Olfactory Magnetic Tether Apparatus, or OMT. This procedure involves gluing the dorsal thorax of the fly to a minutian pin. The fly is suspended at a 30 degree angle with the pin at a proper pitch, then aligned between two rare earth magnets. When done correctly, this will result in a free range of motion. An odor port is then aligned to produce a plume that passes smoothly from the delivery nozzle over the fly's head into the vacuum chamber. The ability of the fly to locate odorant is then tested in the presence of visual stimuli. Hi, I'm Brian Dysomars from the laboratory of Dr. Mark Fry in the Department of Physiological Science at the University of California, Los Angeles. Today, we will show you how to tether flies for use in an olfactory magnetic tether apparatus. We will also show you how to align the magnets and odor ports and set the mass flow rates for the odor delivery system. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study visual and olfactory mediated flight control in fruit flies. So let's get started. To begin tethering, collect flies four to six days post eclosion. Starve them for four to six hours in a foodless vial containing a moist chem wipe to prevent desiccation. Next, transfer a batch of starved flies to a small vial. Insert it into a brass block on a Peltier cooling stage set at four degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the flies will anesthetize within approximately 30 seconds. Place a chem wipe on top of the cooling stage to absorb moisture. 